how does it feel personally in this transition moment, the end of an era and the, the beginning of a new and exciting one? Well, I mean, it's, it's bittersweet. The space shuttles were very capable machines. They were exciting to watch. The missions were exciting to watch. Um, and, and now they'll be going away to, to museums. Um, but it's exciting to think about the things that we have ahead of us. Um, we're building new vehicles to carry crews into low Earth orbit. Um, we're going to build other vehicles that can carry cargo, the things that people work with in low Earth orbit. Um, those are two of the major elements required to do um, much more exciting exploration missions. We can build new space stations, we can build um, vehicles that can travel to other planets, um, we can uh, build vehicles that travel to the stars. We laid out a schedule that would allow us to fly humans into space within three years. But that, uh, for that to work requires all of the um, steps to fall into place very precisely. We have to get the contracts in place, we have to have the right uh, legislative authority in place, the technical uh, aspects of the program have to go just perfectly, and, 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 and that gets us flying humans in three years. But, but if it's not three years, it, it can be four, five, six. We're, the company's dedicated to do it. I uh, believe in what the company's goals are, which is to you know, make humanity a multi-planet species, to make humans live on another planet forever. Uh, I, I believe that's something that's in our future. The barriers to going to Mars are the amount of time it takes, the effect of the environment on the human body, radiation, um, and then the, the fact that you're a long way from home and if something breaks, um, it may be difficult to find spare parts. And you want systems that are extremely reliable because you can't just come right back into the atmosphere. Um, and it takes time to develop and improve systems like that. It's possible to accept more risk um, you know, and, and launch people right away. Um, but to maximize the chance of success will probably take more time. I, I, I would anticipate 20, 30 years at least before people head out to Mars. But I could be wrong. I'd love it if somebody proves me wrong. The United States doesn't do it. If the European uh, Space Agency doesn't explore Mars, then uh, I'm happy that the Indians or the Chinese or the Russians will. Um, some humans from this planet will make it to Mars. And would you go to Mars if you knew that you weren't coming back? Uh, me? My, I've been forbidden by my wife. I'm not allowed to go to Mars. I have to stay home. She said, you can go to the moon, you can go to space station, but you cannot go to Mars. So I can't go. I want to stay married. <laughs>